Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my weekly vlog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. And today, my friends, oh my goodness, it's cold outside. It is all about the coffee. I don't know if there's enough coffee in the world to keep me warm, but I'm going to give it my best shot. So cheers, everybody. So good. So anyway, we are at the start of this arctic vortex and my gosh is it cold so i know it's probably sweeping across several areas of the country so wherever you are i hope you are safe i hope you are warm right now it's eight degrees below zero the wind chill makes it feel like 24 degrees below zero tonight we will drop down to 20 below zero and i am not even going to ask Alexa what the wind chill is later on tonight because i don't i don't want to know yeah it's going to be too cold to think about but i'm inside i'm warm i have got my barefoot dreams a sweater on this long cardigan duster cardigan and i even got the uh, matching pants so i it's like i'm wearing a blanket and of course whoops can i show you i got my my mutlucks on yeah sorry about that yeah so yeah i am feeling as you can see i, I i'm feeling much better so last night yeah whoo i was a little out of there last night but i did have one of my prescription strength and um, it was like an naproxen or something like that, I think. But it was supposed to help um, relieve some inflammation, some swelling. So I think that took a little bit of pressure off my sciatic nerve. And I mean, I'm not 100%, but oh my gosh, I am so much better today. So yeah, I'm, I'm a happy girl. But anyway, um, yeah, so um, this week I know that my Stitch Fix is getting processed and they're saying I should have it by the 12th, so I'll probably see a tracking number on that Monday or Tuesday. So excited to see what's in there. Don't know, I didn't ask for anything specific. I just know that I wanna, and I know a lot of us say this and then we don't stick to it, but I wanna be pickier on what I keep. I wanna keep only items that I love. I don't want to go in my closet five months from now and see something that still has the price tags on it or something I took the price tags off because I was going to wear the next day and then never did. Yeah, so that's important. Um, I did a Sudsy Club unboxing last night. So it is the last uh, subscription box from them. And I'll probably try to post that during the week. But while I'm sitting here, I'm going to try to catch up. I'm going to do my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus from January because my February Glam Bag X shipped on Friday and that was uh, like kind of like the BoxyCharm Lux. So that was like over a $600 value for $55. So I'm excited about that. And I know I just did my glossy box from January, but I did get the uh, February one yesterday. So I want to get that done. Just want to get these kind of put away and then just kind of schedule them out to post sometime during the week. I'll worry about that later. And um, yeah, so my last stitch fix, um, I had got a beautiful shade of purple cashmere sweater and the color was so, so beautiful. And it was $98, I think, but um, to me, the quality wasn't there and I didn't like the fit on it. And um, you know, and I know cashmere is expensive, but I look at it like it's uh, an investment piece. And I got another uh, cashmere sweater last year too from Stitch Fix and I got one of my Wannable and they were expensive, but I think I wouldn't mind paying that much if I thought the quality was there. I know it's a cla you know, it's a classic and it's not something you're going to wear every week, but a couple of times during the season and to just know that when you put it away, you can take it out season after season. It's always going to be in style. It's always going to be perfect and just a nice piece. So I was on a quest to find one. So I went on like Macy's uh, website and Nordstrom's and a couple of other sites and I just didn't find anything that was jumping at me. But then, you know, I remembered my, um, one of my favorite online stores, Belk. So I went on to see what they had and surprise, they had a cashmere sweater that day that was the doorbuster sale. So, you know, I had to get one. And yes, yeah, so I got this pretty shade of pink cashmere sweater. Of course, it's got a crew neck. It's got like balloon type sleeves with a nice ribbing at the cuff. Same kind of ribbing along the hemline. And yeah, so this was $129. $129. And the doorbuster price was $38.70. So I thought that was definitely worth a try. And I love this. I love the fit. It's so soft. It is thin, um, but maybe 
kind of like the same thinness that the other sweaters were, but I'd rather pay $38.70 than $98 for the same type of quality. So, you know, for this, I think I would probably have to wear um, maybe one of my sleeveless uh, turtlenecks under it or something just for an added layer of warmth in the winter or a nice camisole. But $38.70. This is actually still on um, the website for $129 full price, but they are having a sale and I don't know how long it's lasting, but it's um, buy one at full price and you can get two others for free. And um, so when you click on that link, it's going to show you everything that's uh, included in that sale. And this is in there. So even if you didn't click on something else, you can get three cashmere sweaters for $129. I think that's amazing. So I may, will probably be on Belk later trying to uh, pick some colors. So the next item that I got that day uh, was from Kim Rogers. And this is just, it's, uh, it's another cable knit sweater. Um, and it's got just a crew neck. And this was $40 and I got it on sale for 16. And so it's, again, it's, it's a cable knit. It's got this material called Lurex, which is probably, oopsie. Can you tell there's two different sweaters here? Yeah, Nan Nancy likes her bling. So yeah, I just thought this looked like me. So again, it was $40. It was on sale for $16. Right now, this is on sale on their website for $12. And they did have some other colors. They had like a beautiful shade of sapphire blue. I think they had a red, maybe a white. Um, but anyway, right now this is on sale on Belk for $12. So I, again, I want to give a little shout out to Wanda and Rebecca Bell from the Southern Bells is the name of their YouTube channel. And they are just sweet Southern ladies from North Carolina, just, uh, or South Carolina. I forgot which one. Sorry, ladies. But anyway, they are just so, so sweet. And I just love listening to them talk. And yeah, it's a mother daughter team and they are awesome. So I hope that you check them out. I will link them down below. And yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, yeah, got to try to keep it short, feeling a little bit better, hoping, um, I mean, I'm not going to push myself. I would love to vacuum this floor, but yeah, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to, I don't want to be in that kind of pain again. So I'm just going to take things slow and maybe just, uh, do more, um, work, um, with the, the resistance band type things, things like that. Probably stay on the couch, do that, or maybe go on my Aero Pilates thing and just... Um, maybe just work on arms until I can get uh, back to be 100%. And um, again, thank you everyone for joining me. I hope that you have a great week. I hope that you stay warm. I will see you ladies for Face Mask Monday and my Wellness Wednesday. Um, I may not post. It depends on if I can do something, come some kind of video or something to kind of put together for that. And yeah, so I hope you go out, have a great week, take care, and we will all chat again soon, everybody. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to Wednesday. So anyway, I was not going to probably post anything in my vlog this week and probably until Friday just because, um, yeah, I didn't, I, I kind of get long-winded sometimes, but I did want to kind of address something that happened about 10 minutes away from me and it was a, a doctor's clinic in Buffalo that probably some of you may have seen on the news or you may have seen it on Facebook where a, um, a 67 year old man went into a doctor's clinic, a medical center, and ended up shooting quite a few people, blowing out the windows. He had um, materials in a, for bomb materials. He had supplies that he was, even though he was local to that town, he stayed at a motel room where he had supplies for making some more bombs. Um, and actually he ended up shooting uh, quite a few people and one of those uh, ladies, uh, one of the medical assistants, she was 37, she actually uh, passed away last night from her injuries. And it's just, it is just heartbreaking because I'm, and to me, I'm just, I don't know where the breakdown is. I don't know whose responsibility this is. It's like, um, if you've heard anything about this, um, he was actually a patient at that clinic. He had some issues with his doctor or whatever, and they felt he was dangerous and they got a restraining order against him to come back into the building. Um, he also was at, you know, a patient at the local hospital in the, the town of Buffalo, Minnesota as well. They also went to get a restraining order against him 
because they felt he was a danger. He had threatened with um, bombing the places. He had threatened to shoot and kill people. And um, so anyway, when the judge was presiding over the cases for the restraining order, he dismissed it because he said he was mentally incompetent. So what does that mean that a mental person, a person that has some, well, I don't want to say mental person like it's, but someone that's got some issues can make those kind of claims knowing that they have guns in their house, that they have permits, that they have weapons. You don't take them away. You just, he's mentally incompetent. It's okay. Just, yeah, just go about your business. And he goes back to those, that place that he threatened and shoots people and a 37 year old medical assistant with a young family passes away because of him and other people that are still critically injured in the hospital and the other patients that were there that have to deal with this and the first responders that had to deal with what they saw when they got there and the judge says he's mentally incompetent and just washes it away and I just don't know is should the doctors have done more? Should they have not gone for the restraining order? Should they have got him the help? Should they have gone over his head and committed him to a place where they could get him maybe under the right medications, get him talking to some professionals to get him the help he needed, knowing that he was mentally incompetent? Um, was it his family? I mean, how do you not... They said, you know, he had been multiple run-ins with the uh, local authorities, but yet nothing was ever done. Is it their fault for not arresting him and putting him in jail for the charges that they were going after? Is it okay to just wash things under the blanket because you're mentally incompetent and you just put them back out into society? You don't take away their guns. You don't make sure that they have the right medications. You don't get them the help they need. And so they can just go in with their guns and shoot up a medical place and shoot at innocent people. And... Yeah, so whose fault is it? Um, do the judges, do they need more training in noticing the mental health issues that people have and just don't wash it under the table, don't say it's okay, it's not gonna, it's gonna get better because it doesn't get better, it gets worse. So is it the judge's fault? Is it the doctor's fault? Is it the family's fault? Are we just all responsible for ourselves and no one's to blame. Uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of left with a lot of questions, a lot of puzzles. Uh, yeah, so anyway, my, my heart is just broken for everyone that the first responders that had to see this firsthand, the, uh, the lady who passed away and the pain that she went through and just the, the fright that she felt that she was being shot at and her family, her kids that have to grow up without her, um, her whole family that had to say goodbye at such a young age and people she worked with, her friends, um, the people that are still in the hospital that are, are the victims of this and just the people that maybe didn't get shot, but they have to live with what they saw for the rest of their life. How did, how, I don't, I don't, I just don't know as a society who's responsible to, to look after these people. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, so that's what I just wanted to get off my chest. It was just kind of heart wrenching to um, listen to the footage of the dispatchers uh, going back and forth and what they were seeing. And uh, it's, it happens everywhere. I know that it's, if it can happen in a small town and 10 minutes away from me, we had the riots over the summer uh, and Memorial Day, 30 minutes away from me. It's, it's happening everywhere. It's it's like no place is safe anymore. And we have to figure something out as a society. How do we make how do we make it better? How do we how do we deal with this? Do we just start with ourselves and make sure this doesn't happen to us, that we just don't snap from the pressure or I don't know. But Anyway, as we wrestle with this and everything else that's going on this in this world with the pandemic is, did that push them over the edge? I don't know. I just don't know anymore. But I know I'm taking steps to 
get myself feeling in a better place and I hope that everyone out there is doing the same and if you fear for your life fight if the judge waves something away and says no if you need that restraining order you just keep fighting there's a reason you wanted to get it don't let a judge tell you that you can't get it because he's mentally incompetent obviously that's why you're getting it because he is mentally incompetent or she's mentally incompetent and you feel for your safety and for those safeties around you and it's not okay it's not okay for a judge to just wipe it under the table and let someone go free like that it's it's not okay hi everyone it's thursday i'm just popping in for a quick minute just wanted to show you another red outfit that i wore this week so well actually this week today so anyway i just have this long uh, blazer on i think i got this from susan graver line at qbc it's like a duster length but it's kind of looks like a blazer it's just kind of looks a little bit more professional looking i put a red turtleneck on that i got from macy's so just a red turtleneck and I like the uh, button detail on the sleeve. So we've got like these brass buttons right here. And then it's open a little bit right there. And I usually don't like to wear my blazers rolled up like this. But I thought the sleeves were so cute that I had to show them. So I had that out today. Uh, of course, I got my, whoops, my red thing right here. That my little uh, lacy thing that I got from Amazon. Just loving these things. You know, I had some for Halloween outfits. And then I thought, why wait for Halloween, right? Uh, of course, I got Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski on, so I've got this red pendant that I actually bought specifically for Valentine's Day a few years ago. So it's got the big uh, red crystal, and then all around it's got the uh, tiny regular clear crystals. And, of course, my Lulu earrings in the uh, red color from Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski. And, yes, yeah, so I'll have to go look for another red top to wear tomorrow for Friday. But, anyway, I hope you go out, have a fantastic day, and we'll chat again during the week. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to Friday. Oh my gosh, this was a long week, wasn't it? Today on my way out the door, it was 30 below zero. It was freezing cold, but you know, the exhaust on the road out here because the cars never fully warm up, even the cars that are in the garage. So um, the exhaust freezes on the road about 25 below zero. So the roads from everyone's exhaust, it was like black ice everywhere. They were on the way to work this morning. Um, I just got like a two mile stretch that I, I took the highway just in case. Um, I figured if I took the back roads and I went into a ditch, nobody would find me there. So I thought if I stayed on the highway, it'd be a little bit safer. And in my two mile stretch on the highway, there was at least 10 cars um, in the median strip and then on the ditch on the other side of the highway. So it was very slippery. It was very cold and people were still like flying by even though hello you may have an suv you may have four wheel drive but it doesn't help you in the ice people but anyway that's what it is but anyway today is valentine's day weekend so i wore my hat right here to work today and plus i wore it the other day to work too and i have my valentine's sweatshirt on wine is my valentine and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be off the shoulder or if it's a bolt neck, but it just doesn't stay in place, which is fine with me because I've got a dress in layers this time of year. So I've got my turtleneck underneath and yeah, two layers. It was essential. So I'm going to try to keep this uh, really short um, for Friday. I just wanted to close the vlog. I did a vlog on Wednesday and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put added on here yet. Um, it was kind of like my thoughts, uh, feelings, um, we had a shooting at a local medical clinic by us. It's probably about maybe 10, 15 minutes down the road. And it was just, just kind of like unbelievable, the events that kind of led up to it and things like that. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to post it or not. It was kind of like my emotions and things like that. And I may put bits and pieces in, but I don't know yet. But anyway, so I know that probably ran a little bit longer than it should. When I always start the vlog, it seems to be longer than it should. But anyway, I just opened my perk box. My perk box. And the flavor that was new to me was this decaf pecan pie. And I love pecan pie. So this one wasn't a cappuccino. So this one is a coffee with a flavoring. I got some creamer in it. And let's, uh, let's check it out together. 
Oh my God, this is good. If you love pecan pie and you love coffee, you are gonna love this. This is awesome. Oh my, Lanta, this is good. Alrighty, so as you can see, you probably see that little uh, blue thing over here. So I got my Stitch Fix in today. And um, as much as I want to open it and try it on, I just, uh, I don't know. It's what time is it? It's almost 11 o'clock. So I may just open it while I'm sitting here and hold up the clothes and then maybe just do a try on and then just kind of blend it in all together. But I just want to pop in and close the vlog and I hope that everyone has a great weekend. I want to thank everyone for joining me again. Your support, it's amazing. You guys are just the best. And um, yeah, I just can't can't say enough how I feel about you all. And yeah, it's just amazing. And uh, you know, I know we're doing this Wellness Wednesday and I didn't do too much this week, but you know, that's okay. I know I'm gonna get there. And I, I think I made huge strides this week on some stress control in my life. And for that part of it, you know, I think that's, that's like going a hundred steps forward. So I am pleased with how that's going. And I really enjoy um, watching and supporting everybody else that's, that's doing their YouTube channels, whether it's Wellness Wednesday or the Face Mask Mondays or unboxings and things like that. It's just really, really fun to support everyone. And yes, I appreciate you. I hope you go out. Have a fantastic weekend. Uh, have a great Valentine's Day weekend. And we will chat again. Well, I'm going to start it tomorrow. So anyway, have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks so much. I appreciate you so much. Bye-bye.